Continuing our tributes to Shōbushi, let me give you the comments provided by those who knew him best. The coach who trained him, and the wrestlers who lived with him. Starting with coach Takadagawa, who you may remember was also infected in April. A treasured member of my apprentice family, Shōbushi, has sadly died owing to multiple organ failure triggered by coronavirus. Although he became infected at exactly the time the healthcare system was under huge pressure, he was able to be admitted to hospital before things turned dramatically worse. And the Smo Association also helped in that respect. I thought that was enough. I thought he would come back to us in a healthy state. However, his condition suddenly worsened, and after fighting this illness for over a month, sadly, he never made it back to us. But he held on so long, it was almost as if he was waiting for me to recover from my infection first. Shōbushi was not only a sumo wrestler, but a man who lifted spirits with his comic sumo. I first met him before I took over the current stable, when he was still in the first year of junior high school, and he was actually the first wrestler I personally recruited. So I shall never forget the way he smilingly talked about being Coach's actual number one student. Words cannot express my grief at losing a family member who was loved by all. But when we said our final goodbyes, every one of us at the stable looked to the future and promised each other, to a man, that we would continue fighting as one with Shōbushi firmly among us. My wrestlers are training with real motivation right now, and we plan to ease back into full training in preparation for the July tournament. Next, the stablemate perhaps most affected, Ryuden. We were actually at the same local judo club from the first year of elementary school, so we spent 22 years at each other's side. He knew me better than anybody. Yes, he was like a brother. After he was hospitalized, I got worried and, and promptly sent him a mail. He replied with, I'm all right. Contact you soon. And that was the last mail I got. Losing this cheerful and kind presence who was always by my side just leaves this gaping hole in my heart. But somehow I've got to continue. So, with Shōbushi watching over me, I'll be devoting myself to sumo even more than before. And finally, Kagayaki. Shōbushi was a friend who fought sumo with me for a full decade, and was like a dependable big brother. Even after I rose above him to salaried level, he would be strict on me at times, on other occasions, we'd spur each other on. I will never forget the memories that I created with him, and believing that he's up there watching over me will do my best all the more.